Hi everyone, welcome to Learn Science with me. Today we are going to talk about pancreas. This pancreas is an exocrine and endocrine gland. It releases hormones into blood streams that regulate our blood sugar level. While exocrine means it releases certain chemicals into hollow tube or hollow organ which helps in digestion. So let's talk about this interesting gland of our body. The location of this pancreas is just behind the stomach. And upper left side of our abdominal region. The size of this pancreas is 6 to 10 inches long in an adult and 2 inches wide. This elongated gland can be divided into some parts. This one, this lower region is acinate. The white part, this one, the white part of this pancreas is called head. As I mentioned here, the head of pancreas is located at the junction where stomach meets the first part of small intestine. This is the C shape, this C shape part of a small intestine is duodenum from where the ending part ending portion of stomach meets with the small intestine so here is the location of the head of this pancreas the central section of this pancreas is called neck or body while the ending part where this pancreas ends up is called the tail from this tail it extends to the left side there are several major arteries or major vessels which surrounds this pancreas. So the blood supply to this pancreas are from superior mesenteric artery, superior mesenteric van, the portal vein and the ciliate axis. So these are the blood vessels that supplies the blood to this pancreas. Let's move to the function of this pancreas. This pancreas perform endocrine as well as exocrine function in our body. It contain 95% of exocrine cells while only 5% of endocrine cells. Exocrine function of this pancreas is to produce pancreatic juice which contains certain enzymes and these enzymes are amylase lipase and protease. The function of amylase is to break down starch of our body. This amylase break down the starch into carbohydrate. While this lipase break down lipids into smaller molecules which are fatty acids. These proteases contain two type of enzyme which is trypsinogen and chymotrypsinogen. When these enzyme enters into the small intestine, the enzyme within the small intestine which is andropeptidase, it, that andropeptidase convert these 
inactive trypsinogen into trypsin and this chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin. And these trypsin and chymotrypsin helps in the digestion of proteins. They will break down the complex form of protein into amino acids. So this is the exocrine function of this pancreas. Let's move to the endocrine function of this gland. For the endocrine function, this pancreas contains some specialized cells which are called islets of Langerhans, also called islet cells. These islet cells are of two types, alpha islet cells and beta islet cells. These alpha islet cells release a hormone which is called glucagon. Which convert glycogen into glucose. These beta islet cells release insulin. So this is a reversible process in which glucagon hormone convert the glycogen into glucose while the insulin suppresses the production of glucose and it stimulates the glucose uptake in muscles and suppresses adipose tissue lipolysis. This is all about the pancreas. I hope you understand this lecture. Kindly subscribe to my channel and share these lectures with your friends.